I've recently learned a new skill. I've not showed Kim yet. Um, hopefully it'll blow her mind. Check this out. Okay, Kim, I want you to write down any random date that you choose. Write it in big letters on this piece of paper here. Okay, uh, the 11th of June, 1973. That's a Monday. I don't know. <laughs> Look up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's my phone? Seven, eight, three. It is a Monday! Pick another date. How did you know that? <laughs> Pick another date. How did you know I would choose that date? <laughs> I didn't know you would choose that date. Right, wait, put this away so we can't... You're dead and brown in me. 17th... March... 18th... 42. It's a Thursday. Thursday! <laughs> <laughs> right, do one, do one in the future, right? Do one okay. that's not, that's okay, not yeah. come yet. Any random date you choose. How are you doing this? <laughs> Second mm -hmm. of June. 30. <laughs> uh, 62. Oh, that's a thousand years in the future, okay. Right. Monday. Monday! <laughs> oh my god! Pretty cool, eh? Oh, I'm so glad I got them right. Is this one of those, uh, is this like something that Chris Ramsey taught you? Uh, I bet Chris Ramsey knows how to do this. But it's not, it is not a magic trick. It's a legitimate maths trick. That's um, awesome. <laughs> I saw this skill or trick, whatever you want to call it, on Numberphile just a couple of weeks ago. James Grime, who is a mathematician who works at Cambridge, showed Brady Haran how to calculate the day of the week of any date, an arbitrary date, basically. And he can do it really, really quickly just in his head. It's a fantastic video, it's linked below. The thing about James Grime is he's a mathematician from Cambridge, so he's a very intelligent dude. And that immediately made me think that I would never be able to do this. But I watched the video anyway, and I kind of followed along with what he was doing. And to, at the end of the video, I was still following along. It, it, it didn't seem that complicated. I thought it would be amazing if I was able to tell people the day of the week for any date that they could possibly give me. So I thought I would give it a go learning this myself, and it's actually not too hard. It all stems from a simple quirk in the calendar that we use. So basically, the fourth of the fourth, the sixth of the sixth, the eighth of the eighth, the tenth of the tenth, and the twelfth of the twelfth, no matter what year it is, these all land on the same day. In 2021, these are all Sundays. So you can imagine if someone gave you the 6th of April, you would just add two days. So that's Monday, Tuesday, and you'd be able to tell people it's a Tuesday. What about the 10th of June? Well, that's four days further on from here. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you can memorize these dates and you know that they are all a Sunday, then it's quite easy to work out what date you're given based on that information. What about if the year is not 2021? Well, this is when it gets a little bit more complicated. Let me explain. To make this whole thing a lot simpler, you first assign a number to each day of the week. So zero is Monday. No, zero is Sunday. Ignore that. One is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Then you need to work out what day of the week all those dates I spoke about earlier fall on for that Two, particular year. That's a five, that's a zero. Oh shit, this is a Sunday. It goes Sunday, Friday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Sunday, Friday, Wednesday, Tuesday. 2004 was a leap year. So you have to add five on. The, the, the fourth two, of the fourth, the sixth of the sixth, the eighth of the eighth, the tenth of the tenth. years. So every 28 years, what did I say? Thursday. I said Thursday. So then you tunnel into the quantum realm. Two for a Tuesday plus the year plus the number of leap years is zero. 
which is equal to a Sunday. So clearly I'm really bad at explaining how to work this out, but trust me, it's not that difficult. And James Grime did a fantastic job of explaining it in layman's terms on the original number file video. I was able to follow along one or two watches and I was calculating the days of the week of any arbitrary date. Basically, the technique he uses reduces a date like the 26th of January 2087 down to just a simple sum. With a pen and paper, this sum is really easy to work out. The difficult bit is trying to do it in your head whilst having a conversation and not just being like, mm, 24 plus 3. So easy to do, difficult to do at speed. So how did I learn? Well, first of all, I wrote myself out my cheat sheets, which give me all the days that fall on the same day of the week in the calendar. Then I wrote out the century starting points for me. And I also had in the corner the number corresponding to the day of the week. So I set this aside and just started practicing on dates with a pen and paper, trying to work it out. I actually have a spreadsheet. I actually use the spreadsheet to just generate random dates. And then I put in what my guess was and it told me whether I got it right or wrong. So you can see at the start, I'm pretty frequently wrong, but by the time I'd done this 142 times, I had a string of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 straight correct guesses. So I was getting pretty good at it. And I did this a total of 176 times. <laughs> so I sat with headphones on, uh, on a Friday night and a Saturday morning and just guessed 176 dates. Wild well, weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway through, I ditched the pen and just started doing it in my head, which slowed me down a lot. But eventually I got faster and faster and more accurate until I got to the point where I was able to just do this in person in front of someone. So yeah, I practiced and practiced and practiced and I got faster and faster. And I actually timed how long it took. I did it in three sessions. When I stopped, I stopped my stopwatch and it took me eight hours and 32 minutes and 23 seconds to get this good at telling you what day of the week an arbitrary date is. I got really into this one for some reason. I just really enjoyed studying this. I don't know why, I'm a nerd. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. If you do, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Peace.